Sakit. Sakit. Dead. It was handling. Yeah. Dead. Okay. Yeah, like you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Maybe you don't have the black. What the hey! Green is good. Dead. We died. It's hunting. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this next stop is the other side demo. It's a demo of an upcoming Ghost Hunting game. It's probably made in a real engine, right? So we know for the delay, add to the wish list. We know for the delay, let's just go and fucking play the other side and see what the game is all about. And see, I like the music, and I like how it's uh, you know you're moving through the mm -hmm. UI. I like how it moves, you know. Nice. Did you change the title channel now? Yes. What is that? Enter HQ. What's that? Welcome to the other side. We're ecstatic to have you join our community of ghost hunters and tutorial. Uh, the headquarters. Ah, uh, the headquarters. Okay. If you want anything to tell you, areas awaiting your exploration. Where is the exploration? Next. Located on the desk is a laptop that can be used to perform the following operations. Team up with other hunters by finding or creating a session. Assign a custom contract. Buying and managing your personal. The UI and the inventory reminds me of Freaky. Okay. The map assign a custom contract, buying and managing your personal equipment. Next. You can access your personal HQ tablet with the tab key. This allows access to the following. Unlocking and purchasing furniture to customize your base. Unlocking, purchasing, and traveling to other headquarters. Customize and outfit your mobile base. View your team members and their details. The equipment crate consists of all of your personal inventory as well as access to the contract contributions. All items in the contribution section of the crate will be loaded into the vehicle and available in the contract. Check the wall for the contract board, featuring expedited contracts with better rewards than those on the laptop. The board refreshes periodically. It should be noted that popularly voted contracts override laptop selections. You can visit the wardrobe to unlock new accessories and customize your appearance. Introducing the new cleanse contract game mode for ghost hunting. We highly recommend completing the training level to familiarize yourself with this new gameplay. Access the training level on the laptop by selecting the TOS training icon, then choose cleanse mode. The headquarters is yours to explore and make your own. When you're ready to start your journey, ensure your equipment is contributed and select a contract from the board or laptop. Then hop into your mobile base to travel to your destination. We can't wait for you to start your journey and experience the thrill of exploring the other side. Happy hunting from the other side ghost hunting team. Okay. Next. This is the headquarters. Ah. Which is now? I already did. Okay. So this is our headquarters. We are in the basement, right? Can I climb up? It's locked. Okay. Okay. Um. So. That. What is it? Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Browser inventory. I have one million. I have one million dollars. Yeah. I'm rich. Yeah. I'm rich. Finally. We are rich here now. I'm gonna buy beers next. Tio's training, let's go. Cle to training mode. Yeah. Cleanse. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Training, okay. It's probably loading, right? Mm -hmm. I assume. Let's go. Choose your training mode. Full distraction, man. I don't know anything about the game. Welcome to your 
instructional tour of the cleanse contract. Okay. Before we get started, you want to familiarize yourself with your mobile base. First up is the equipment crate. Go ahead and walk up to it, then interact with it using the left mouse button. Let change something. I don't want you here. You're gonna go up here. Yes, and I'm gonna make you a little bit smaller. Resume. Uh, interact with your equipment. Great. Great. What is that? This one? This one. It's worth noting that the left mouse button is used primarily to interact with objects in the world. Inside the crate, you'll find a variety of different equipment that is used to help in your journey of identifying the ghost characteristics and favorite room. To close the crate, you can press the escape key. I did close. It's time to talk about the Spectral Affixer crate. In its deployed state, this item is the key component in cleansing the contract location. But we'll get more into that a bit later. This item is heavy and requires both hands to carry. Pick up the black spectral. Yeah. That, this one? Yeah. Normally the affixer What's is that? Only charged before hmm. starting a contract. What the fuck is that? However, you the player right? now needs a bit more juice. Okay. Put the affixer in your hands. Walk up to the charging station and interact with it. The charging station. This is the charging yeah. station. No, 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 no. Behind, behind the pickup truck. Oh. Charging progress can be monitored on the LCD screen. Oh, it's oh, I got it. I got it. It's like a generator. Let the battery charge 100%. Okay. Okay. Let it, let it charge. Charge. You have access to your personal TOS cell phone. Go ahead and look at it now. My cell phone. What's my cell phone? The cell phone can serve many purposes. The most useful is its flashlight. This can provide a light source while you use your equipment in your other Okay. Hand. Keep in mind that ghosts are generally attracted to energy emitted by the light. The phone has some applications that can be quite useful, as well as a heart rate monitor. Awesome. Ghosts feed off anxious hunters. What? So it's wise to keep your heart rate under control. Take a moment and familiarize yourself with the phone's interface now. Complete spectral scan. Great. Gather. Now you should be familiar with your mobile base and cell phone. Next, we'll learn about the characteristics that you'll be searching for. Head over to the evidence sample booth to get started. Look. <laughs> So this is our primary, uh, prim, uh, prim, uh, primary quest in the mission is to complete the uh, spectral scan. It's uh, an example. Ah, this is the EMF. It has a lot of stuff. Ah, that's how we're gonna take. This is our journal, actually, right? Um, yeah. Oh, okay. And this is our uh, our heart uh, heart rate. Okay. This is the EMF booth. What? Electromagnetic fields that emit wave energy. The higher the EMF reading, the higher the evidence level. It's worth noting that the reading will be consistent regardless of range to the source. Go ahead and pick up the digital EMF reader located on the table to detect the different evidence levels. I did. I have it here. You see? <laughs> oh, so that's EMF 1. Le level 1 EMF. That's level 2 EMF. That's level 3 MF and that's level 4 MF. So we're not gonna have EMF 1, 2, 3, we're gonna have level 1, level 2, level 3, and level 4. Okay. Got it. This is thermal booth. Thermal evidence is a detection of lower than ambient temperatures. The lower the temperature, the higher the evidence level. We've noticed that a ghost's favorite room will get much colder as activity increases. Thermal evidence is a detection of lower than ambient temperatures. 
The lower the temperature, the higher the evidence level. We've noticed that a ghost's favorite room will get much colder as activity increases. However, they'll be fooled by cold spots that can appear anywhere in the location. These are more useful for determining the evidence level. The laser thermometer is a ghost hunter's favorite tool in identifying thermal changes. Try it out now. What is this one? Uh, no, on your feet. On my feet? Oh! I have it, here. Let me see here, Helen, how you are. 33, Helen. So, this is level one. This is level... Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Level one. Le level one is between... 4.5, okay. Okay, this is level 2. Level 2 is minus 9.5 to 0. Level 3. 11. And how am I supposed to know that? How am I supposed to figure it out? What level I have? Uh, your phone. Your phone, okay. Your phone. This is extra level, okay. Nice. Ultraviolet stains are markings left from a ghost. Markings require the use of ultraviolet light to become visible. These stains can sometimes be hard to spot. However, the general rule is, the easiest to spot, the higher the evidence level. Using the LED ultraviolet flashlight, you can use the samples provided to differentiate between the levels. Oh, this is level one. Let's splats. Splats. <laughs> this is level two. A big splat. And this is level through La Munza. Okay. Got it. Radiation, also known as spectral radiation in the paranormal community, manifests as fluctuations in ambient radiation levels. La Munza. While the levels aren't directly harmful, higher radiation amounts indicate a higher evidence level and caution should be exercised. The radiation energy is emitted from the source of the ghost interaction. This means a radiation strength will be greater at the source and decrease over distance. On the table is a digital Geiger counter. Use this to get familiar with the different radiation strengths. Stop. Bet level 1 is between 100 and 500. Level 2 is between 500 and 1000. And level 3 is over 1000, okay. Put it to my Lily, nothing happens. Dead. My Lily is dead here now. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it! Visit. You will die, I kill you. The types of inscriptions have been categorized into levels for easy identification. Leaving a blank book or notepad open and unattended on a surface has shown to give good results on this writing anomaly. On the table are three examples of verified books that have been previously written in. So level one is uh, nothing. Just on buzzer, right? It's scribbles. Level two is, uh, you know, ritual and cryptic uh, symbols. And level three is actually writing something, right? Hostile or something, a phrase. Got it. The audio evidence encompasses any unusual sounds captured that indicate a ghostly presence. Such auditory clues are often captured by electronic devices with prompts from the ghost hunter, such as hello or can you give me a sign. Located on the table are some recording devices with sound samples that were captured in other investigations. Okay. Interact with each one to hear random samples of their respective evidence level. It's not like an update on equipment, Yota. It is uh, the different kind of levels. So, we don't have EMF2, EMF3, EMF4, EMF5 here. We have... Uh, levels. Everything is in levels. That's how it's, now, everything is levels. You understand? Types of evidence. We can move on to the first hey, I didn't hear that. Contract, the special hey, I didn't hear that. Ah, this is level one. Ooh. I was level one? No. 
Level 2 is hostile. Level 3? So in level 3 I'm gonna have a phrase, right? In level 2 is gonna be hostile. In level 1 I can barely hear it. <laughs> okay, okay, bye bye. The primary use of the spectral affixer is to bind the ghost characteristics. The characteristic is defined as an evidence type in the highest recorded level of that evidence. During an investigation you may encounter various evidence levels. However, we only care about the highest levels. Once you feel that you've determined the correct characteristics, you can enter them into the affixer. If enough characteristics are entered correctly, and the affixer is in the ghost favorite room, the scan should succeed. Although, if the scan fails, the energy emitted can cause the ghost to become agitated and hostile. In order to function properly, the spectral effect Hello, Devil is set up. Go How are you? The that we charged earlier. What? Go to the... Retrieve the spectral affix. Uh, the black box. This one? No, 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 the black box that you... This one? This one, yeah. Ideally, the spectral affixer should be set up in the ghost favorite room. Yeah. But for now, you, you can deploy on the green tarp. Here? No, no, no. Where? Here? Where before, yeah, in the tarp. The green tarp. Uh... Nope. Not happening. E? Nope. 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 Ah, uh, F. Yeah. Using the affixer involves typing commands into its interface. You just came home. Welcome home. Uh, we are trying cost cutting games. We have everything here with us. You know, thermometer, EMF. Uh, Electromagnetic, uh, you know, reader. We played another ghost hunting game earlier, the developers were here, and now we're playing another one. Interact with the affixer and use help command. The other side. The other side, okay. Yeah, the other side. This is DOS. <laughs> when you are finished in the help section, type commands, then press enter. This can be used to understand the various prompts the device can accept. The affixer comes with predicting text to help validate user input in rapid entry. We have two. I'm a sub this is like DOS, man. <laughs> this is like DOS. That's how. That's how. Uh, see. That's how you were able to, you know, play games and do anything, everything in PC. That's how I started when I hit my first PC. When I was uh, seven years old, with DOS, there was nothing else. There was no Microsoft Windows. There was nothing. There was Unix and DOS, and you were supposed to know the commands in order to be able to run everything. Uh, so, use the commands command. Take some time and experiment with the different. This is DOS. Familiarize yourself with using the device. I know DOS. Feel <laughs> comfortable. Try entering in any two or more evidence types with an associated characteristic level and then conduct a scan. So if you enter in a wrong evidence level, you can just retype the correct information and it will override what was previously entered into the device. You can always type list to see what characteristics you currently have. So if when we were gonna when we're gonna have the evidence, we're supposed to find the the cost uh, room. Place the, this in there, give the what we found, and he will try to exercise the ghost. He will try to scan. So I will give EMF two. No, 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 no. What? Uh, Add two scan. characteristics. First, you write scan. Ah, okay. Yeah, but I didn't have anything. It doesn't matter. Wait. Unable to scan here now. Add UV2 here, he says. Commands. Here is the commands here now. Oh, yeah. Uh, information. How do you get to find UV. No. UV. 
Hola. Ah, nice. okay. Nice. Another one. Ah, uh, EMF. Ah, uh, EMF two. Sí. Okay. Another one. Ah, uh, radiation. Add radiation. Uh... Add writing. Ah, ah. Two. Or a scan. Okay, let's say that that's what we had, right? You'll notice yes. under normal circumstances the color of the light that's emitted by the affixer is blue. If a yellow light is present, the scan has been halted and you will need to initiate another scan. It's gonna be completed by its own? Yeah. So we're supposed to input the, the what we found and if we were correct, it's gonna exercise the ghost. With a successful scan, yeah. Now it's correct, it's green. Totally complete and you can return to the headquarters if desired. To earn more rewards, you can stick around to fully cleanse the location by finding the bound items, which you will learn about next. This is the ethereal attached boats. Boat. Boots. Serial artifacts are objects that are artifacts. often symbolic to the identity of the ghost. If not, you're screwed. That's 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 okay. The ethereal artifact locator, also known as the eel is an entry-level detector that will glow brighter when you are in close proximity of an artifact. After you've discovered Surprise, the artifact, motherfucker. simply pick it up. Radian, go ahead and hello. Go ahead now to see how it functions. Keep Hi, Radian. Examples on the table cannot be removed. What am I supposed to do? Uh, the middle one. And you scan. And what am I supposed to do? Not doing anything. We are good. We are good at the end. Can the other one? Great. Now that you are familiar oh. with your mobile base, the evidence equipment, and the special equipment, you can move on to cleansing this house. The ghost is known to be non-violent, so you should be okay. Happy hunting. Oh, okay. So nothing is happening, but if we are close to an artifact, it's gonna try, it's gonna start in beeping. When you're ready, when you're ready to the house, ah, that's in the tutorial. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't have anything. Am I supposed to take something? Am I supposed to take the stuff? Uh, yeah, if you like. Nope. Happy birthday. Thank you. It's not my birthday though, but okay. Thank you. Hey. This is a tutorial, right? Okay, I don't want to do the tutorial. Let's go and... Uh, let's go and try the real, the real thing. Yep, it's, it's called Other Side. Uh, demo time remaining. Oh, you have time. You have four hours to play the to play the demo. Yelena, I want to go. How can I go? To the I exit. Okay. Travel to headquarters. It's a demo. It looks nice so far from the so far from what I have seen through the tutorial. It looks nice. Let's go and see. A real investigation, how it will go. Close summary. So. Contracts. Okay, you want to try this at No. Together. Why not? Why alone? Okay. You don't want to play? Don't you want to play? Oh, yeah. Are you ready, Dean? No. <laughs> Me neither. Uh, this is maps. This is different maps. Novice cleanse. Explore this eerie remains of a residential house. Study the ghost behavior. Pinpoints his favorite room. Experience a gentle introduction where the ghost's aggression is tempered. If, ah, this is a difficulty. Ah, okay, okay. 
Ah, this is the demo. This we just, we just have one map in the demo. And we're gonna have more. This is the demo. So we have one map. The, it's cleanse, cleanse, cleanse it, identify, survive the night. Okay, it's cleanse it. And the difficulty is gonna be intermediate, nov novice, novice is the easy one, intermediate, expert, and master. Of course, I'm gonna play when the game's gonna be out. I'm gonna play between expert and master, by the way. Hello, Max! Hello, Max. How is Kalamata? So, let's try the first one. We, do, we cannot do anything else, right? Contracts? I, I mean, the contracts. Okay, I did it. Ravenwood Lane? Huh? Rav the Ravenwood Lane? Yeah, it doesn't have anything else. That's it. After. And what am I doing? I'm supposed to do now. Uh, to, to the car. Ah, okay. That's what I'm you talking. You take, you take, you buy the stuff. Don't forget to buy stuff. From where? Uh, browser. Oh. Buy. 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 I have one million. I'm rich. Um. Okay, I come here. Sit here, man. Yeah. Um. See. Bye. <laughs> the sanctified cross is a unique and powerful tool designed for ghost hunters. Seeking clear indication of paranormal activity. When a spirit interacts with a sacrificed with a sanctified cross, it dramatically turns upside down, providing an unmistakable sign of supernatural influence. Oh. Place it in place it in key locations during investigation to detect ghostly interactions and enhance your protective measures. Important, the ghost will only interact with the cross if it is placed inside the ghost favored room. One. That's all the equipment? No. That's it? Oh! No, we, we bought them. Yeah, I bought all this, right? Yeah, I bought them all this. Okay, how can I take it with me? Okay, close it. Leave the laptop. Okay, go to the uh, orange crate. Oh. And put everything in search. This reminds me of a freaking. Yeah. It's the same UI. Uh huh. Almost the same. Almost the same. This is a little bit better, I think. I can take literally everything. Yeah, the spirit box. We forgot the spirit box. Oh, you you took a spirit box. I think I took everything, right? Oh uh, yeah. And now? Now to the truck. That's it. Yep. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. Let's see it. It looks interesting. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Ravenwood Lane. Let's go. I just arrived. Oh, okay, nice. It shows you that you arrived. Yeah. Plans. Novice. Novice. Uh, it's easy. Yeah, you can play. You can press uh, space bar, but I don't want to play space I want to see it. Yeah, it's cool. And you're here. Le professional. Let's go. Uh, oh, here is everything, right? Yeah, you know what to do. Uh... Supposed to take this. Yeah. Put it here. Wait for it to uh level up. Level up to full. 
We fulfill, okay. right? I think you can leave it. Uh... It says wait. Okay. You don't have to take it right now. I know. Let's go. Let's find our evidence first. Stab with the. Uh... Why? Tough. Stab and tough. Now you have light. Oh. Oh, that's how I'm supposed to. Uh -huh. Okay. Everything is off. It's on. Yeah. And don't uh, open too many lights. Okay. I'm gonna hide here. Probably I'm supposed to hide here with hands, right? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen much from now on. Ah, the Phasma Bunny! Uh, Where is Alexander? Alexander? What was that? What was that? What was that? I heard something. Uh, it was me here, Anna. I know. Ah, this is the same asset of uh, Obsidio. Hmm? And Ghost Exile. Not Ghost Exile. Go and Ghost Exile. Too many doors. And this is uh, Unreal Engine, right? Uh huh. <clears throat> I think. I'm supposed to find something, right? Mm -hmm. I'm calm so far, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Another room. Mm -hmm. Just sit back, let the music play, and chill out with me. I don't want to chill out with you. Let's see the temperature. Don't have anything so far. The house is big. Mm -hmm. What? What was that? I got something. A phone. An alarm clock. Oh. oh. Okay. This is the This is where the ghost is. So you have three level three. Level four. Four? Are you sure? Yeah, level four. One, two, three, four. You yeah, see? Was, one, two, level two, three, four. Was different in the tutorial, that's why. No, it's level four. Man. Okay, okay, okay. Is it that is the ghost here? I don't know. But it did something here. It did something here, that's true. But is it the ghost here or is it here? Do we have an upper Floor? I don't know. It did something here, right? Uh huh. Yeah, loud clock. Yeah. Am I supposed to speak or is it gonna speak for itself? I don't know. Are you here? Are you here? Ah. There's something somewhere else. The ghost somewhere else. Yeah. Oh. It's here. Okay. So uh, the temperature. So the ghost here. Okay. Oh, come on with the alarm clocks. The what the fuck? Everywhere. The ghost is roaming. So... We had... Range 4. We had this one. So far, right? I think. Hey! Where's my phone? Tab.
Am I supposed to speak with that? Huh? I really don't know. I cannot do anything with the guy. With the, with the... Are you... Is he cutting? I don't know. Is he cutting already? Can you hear? Can you hear me? Can you talk? Where are you? What? I hear something. Yeah. Close the turn on the turn off the light. Close the bracket. Uh, hide, uh, hide. It's hunting? You said. It was hunting. Yeah. Why was it hunting? I was not so long in the house. Yeah, but you're, uh, you weren't gone. What's that? I died. Death. Okay. <laughs> the hang man. What's that man? Huh? What's happening? What's that person? What the... Oh, it gives you another chance. It gives you another chance. Oh, so, and the first card was the full, so I I can do it again. Uh, take pills. Maybe take pills to stay calm. How it handed? Uh, white handed? Hey. How can I go outside? I died, I played tarot cards, and I got back. I don't know where I am. From the other side. Uh, the other side, the left. Here it is. Here it is. Go out, go out. How's my sanity, man? You're not calm. I'm not calm, okay. Not Maybe that's why it hunted. Oh, it makes you woozy, man. Wah! What the fuck? Okay, normal. <laughs> I feel a little bit loosey, my man. <laughs> Ghost riding. Counter. This one. So, if I don't want this. Okay, I can use this, right? So, where was the ghost? Uh, what the fuck? Random scream. Random scream in the yeah. cards. Yes. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh. Ah. <laughs> nice graphics, though, right? Uh huh. No. 
you scare the crap out of me. <laughs> Helena. You almost caused me a heart attack. Sorry, your character screamed. What do you want me to do? I'm calm. Uh, are you calm? Yeah. I am. Okay. You don't have that now. Um. Wow! Yeah! Because I got the card screen. Yeah, I know. Well, the ghost came through here somewhere, right? Yeah. Maybe it's here. What's happening? What's happening? Why am I look? Am I look like? Am I looking like that? Okay. Wow! Ah! Fuck you! Stop screaming! Minus seventeen. Minus seventeen. No, it's uh, when oh. I close it and run it again. The ghost is not here. What is the ghost? Yeah. Maybe you don't have the black. What the? Hey. Ah. Um. I throat. Ah, uh, what's that? Seasons. Symbolic en en enigmas, right? Yep. What how many do we need? Uh, at least three? I don't know. It doesn't happen. Uh, I think? I don't know. Is it hunting? I don't know. I think it's hunting. Okay. Uh hide. Where? Where am I supposed to hide? I'm supposed to hide here. No, inside, go inside! Don't hear anything. How many can I take? So let's assume the ghost is here, right? Oh, okay. How can I go? What is outside? Yeah, you're going. Straight ahead. How many do we need? I don't know. Three, two. Why do we need the candles for? Don't know. It didn't say. I didn't say it didn't say. Let's see, are we gonna find something? <laughs> I found pizza. So if we found something, it's gonna start blinking, right? 
Hã? É. Mas isso é... Not... Necessário, right? Think... It's for extra I points. Those, uh, things that you find. How is the temperature here? 30. 13. 13. No, sorry, not 30. 13. So I assume that's the cost, the cost room, right? We don't have any thing. Nothing. Ah, ah dead. You went to the other one? The door? The door moved, the door did something, right? I don't know which door, but... I heard the door. Oh my god. The other door? Okay. Oh! Nice. This is level uh, 2. Level 2, right? Yeah. Maybe the ghost is here? No. So, do we know what? We don't have ghosts, right? What? We don't have ghosts. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't have any ghosts, right? Whatever you saw in the tutorial. So, maybe it's here? Maybe the ghost is here? What? It opened. No, I did it. No, you didn't open the small light. What small light? Uh, the small lamp near the bed. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh-huh. I saw it turn on before you turned on the lights. So is the ghost here? Oh! Minus five! Minus five? Yes. Okay. So, uh, go, go outside. It went uh, to minus five. So, uh, minus five is... Moderate. I think we got enough, right? Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. Let's go and try and do the exorcism, but we don't know which room it is, right? Yeah. Do you want to place it in the last room? In the kids' room? Why? Was it that? Was it there? I don't know. It opened the light. Yeah, we found UV light, UV residue. So I'm supposed to take this? Yeah. And place it. Okay. Whenever, wherever uh, the ghost room is. Let's try this one, this room. Let's say that it was in the other room because it gave oh. us. Ah! 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 It's not that often anymore. So... Here? Yeah. Let's say it was here. We'll see. So. EMF? Five. Oh, not five. Four. That's four. Four, yes. Level. It's the level, right? I think. Yes. EMF level four. Okay. Uh, this is okay. This is... Uh... Correct. Eh. 
EMF 3, not 4. Was... That's what I told you, 3. 3, EMF 3. Four. Strong emissions. Strong emissions. Strong. Range 4. Uh, ah, 4 to 4. Okay. So it's Those EMF 3. three. We have EMF 3. Hey, I'm scared. Yeah, Yota, please write down. EMF 3. Thermal. Yes. Not down. EMF 3. Level 3. Thermal level 2. UV level 2. And. Uh, writing level 2. And the writing level 2. Yes, but how can I fix that? Uh, the, the, remove. Remove EMF. Remove EMF. Add uh, Two. Two. Mm. Add UV to three. Ah! And now what? And scan. Scan. Cross fingers. Now cross fingers. Now we're gonna see if we're gonna die or not. Impressive. Yeah, that's nice. How are we supposed to understand if it's safe we've done it or not? Green, uh, orange, or red. Green is good. Red, we died. It's hunting! No! Ah! Hunting! We died. It was not the correct room. It's not the correct room. It was not the correct room. Okay. It was not that's the room. Tough. Oh my god, that's tough. Traveling to headquarters. Okay, it was not the correct room. That was not the room. Wow. That was not the room. What the fuck? Taco. That was not the room. We, we've done wrong with the room. That was not the room. So, I took some... I didn't take any because I died. Audio. We had an audio. EMF was strong. Intelligible, intelligible phrases. We didn't have phrases. So we didn't hear it. Radiation. We, take, we had radiation. Thermal frigid. It was not the correct room, that was not the room. Search everything. Well, we didn't search well enough. Okay. We didn't search well enough. Okay. I liked it.